on. Mana for with who you are. Now that was heavy as hell. It was a great tune. I love that. I love the catchy riff to it. And man, that was an awesome tune. Right, G? Uh, I agree. Um, man, some of, some of that song, I was actually just going back to my topic. It sounded like Kill 'Em All. A little bit of that. Maybe uh, some of the Dave Mustaine riffs. And like even near the end, I was like, well, this could be like off of early Mega Death kind of stuff. Um, minus the vocals, it was which were clearly better than both of them. <laughs> 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 but uh, yeah, no, I don't know. I love that heavy tune. Like I, I want to hear that again. <laughs> Mike, I, I, I agree. Once again, I agree with my colleague, Mister G. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was uh, oh man, that was so brutally heavy. It was fantastic. I mean, speaking of heavy music, as, as we just were, that's that's what I mean. That's that's heavy. <laughs> that's oh. the definition of heavy right there. Um, I, I used the phrase recently for a 21 Grams song, Bruce Dickinson-y, which you found very funny. Um, <laughs> I love Bruce that's a bit of Bruce dickinson as well. <laughs> yeah. Yes, definitely, yes. Yeah. Very much so, yeah. It's got the range. Yeah, oh. that's it, isn't it? It's, it's just got that whole vibe. I, I mean, it's just quality. Like, you know, I do love it when bands come out and just put like riffs together uh, that just make you kind of thrash yourself around like an epileptic salmon. I like that. That's a good metaphor. <laughs> good, good you know, I once, uh, I very nearly called a band epileptic salmon once, and then someone told me it was ridiculous. But that was the vibe I was going for. It's that oh. feeling when you're right. uncontrollably awesome. thrashing about. Well, maybe you should um, do that. You know, yeah. I... <laughs> oh, right on. Well, we have a few more things to do. Maybe we could do a virtual. Sorry, Bainsy. Maybe we could do some sort of virtual band, you know, if we get. But uh, we, we, we could go a bit obscure. I think there should be some sort of. You know, you could play a banjo, Mike G. I could <laughs> do, like, hey, my dad did. I could probably learn it. <laughs> oh, there you go. There you go. I'll get a ukulele and um, Bonesy. Have you got like a shaker or a tambourine? Oh, man, I get, I, get, I get everything from Cuba, so yes, I do. Yeah, there you go. We can do something <laughs> obscure. And as long as it's within Bonesy's range, he can sing. But if we, if we go anywhere near Black Dog, he won't touch it. Yeah, nope. Yeah. <laughs> nope, not, not going to destroy it. So I'm monotone, so I can't really do anything about that. I can't even uh, back back vocals. <laughs> no, I, I, can't sing, I can shout. I can shout too. I can shout. For do, yeah, for yeah. Shout. Oh, maybe we'll do some shouting. Yeah, right. <laughs> roll, Jim, roll. Yeah. yeah. So uh, next song we have a couple more songs to get to tonight, and the next one up is uh, a band that we all know and love, Hands of Blue. And now, since the album's out, Gina has given us permission to play any song off the album. And this is my fave song. I've been dying to play this song forever. So here we go with Hands of Blue, and this one's called Air Raid. Dig this.
Yes, Hands of Blue Air Raid. Like I said, I've been dying to play this song. They did have an acoustic version up on their website before the album came out, um, shortly after uh, the first thing on their release, which is uh, uh, If the World Could Sing, Then Why Can't My Heart? And it's such a great tune. The acoustic version was really cool. And seeing the live video of it, of uh, you know, Ender Gem Wing guitar and, and Gina singing, like, it was really cool to kind of see like a pretty much acoustic a cappella of it. Really cool. And the actual version of it, well, the album version is really cool as well. And my favorite tune by far. And uh, like I said earlier, uh, Gina and Ender sent an email with uh, the I'm Hell from Parasite Core. But I also talked to her as well that you know, the album Cosmic Lullaby couldn't come out at a better time. And it was just a great album and still is. Like, love it. Alright, for me, it reminded me a lot of, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this right, Elaviti? I mean, it's, uh, it's, sure. Go ahead. Um, I saw them open for Iced Earth years ago, and I've I've YouTube a bunch of this stuff. They sing in Gaulish sometimes. I think they're from Finland. Um, they're more. They get the hurdy gurdy. They get the folk stuff. But the the vocals when they have the female, they have two female, or they at least did you know, um, two female vocalists, and just that whole vibe sounded so much like that I, I don't know if anyone knows that band but <laughs> they were amazing they blew my mind I had to go like YouTube them as soon as I, I didn't buy an album I'm sorry yeah I didn't spend any money on them but um, man they were what the YouTube the songs of YouTube remind me so much of that Mike uh, 1 and 5 Mark 1 and 5. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. <laughs> all right. Uh, I, look, it's no secret that I'm a massive fan of Hands of Blue. I think they're one of the best bands that I've heard in the last 12 months and possibly in my entire life. I think they're, they're absolutely fantastic. Um, and, you know, hearing that and then hearing two songs back to the other one, I kind of get why the other one might have been too heavy to release on the album, but then I like heavy, so I'm stuck on anyway. Right. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a really, really good tune. I have not heard the acoustic version of that, and I want to hear that. So is there still a version of that knocking about somewhere? Someone's got to send me that oh, pronto, because I'm, I'm desperate to hear that. Hint, um, hint, hint Gina and I'm Ender. With, I'm with, oh, go on, sorry. I just said, hint, hint, Gina and Ender. <laughs> Yes, yes, big, big hints. <laughs> and then they, they are, they certainly were listening 15 minutes ago because they tweeted something, so hopefully they still are. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, I definitely want to hear that. But I'm with you in that, um, it, it's a bit of a toss-up. There's two or three songs that could be my favourite track on that album, but that's definitely one of them. Um, yeah, that's, that, 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 that's, a, that's just a shit-hot tune, isn't it? So, <laughs> I absolutely love it. Oh, for it's sure. a great album. If you don't own the album, you got to go and buy that album if you're listening to yeah. this and you're like, oh, I like this. You know, that, you. That's a great <clears throat> track to... It's interesting that it wasn't a single because it's a right. great track to kind of give oh, you... Uh, like, like, like I said, it, the it, album. it is probably my, one of my favorite uh, songs on that album, if not the, the my favorite song on that album. And actually, it's reminding me, I'm not... It's too late now, but I should... Uh, I'm going to text my dad tomorrow because... I, uh, since they're in, in the U.S., so well, send my dad's to Michigan, probably cheaper for you, right? I'll, I'll, and I'll pick it up next time I see him. So I got to ask him and see if it's come yet because uh, I've got my Dylan T. Rocks here in Canada. So I know Hands of Blue is going there. And uh, when, um, I haven't set up yet, but uh, I was talking to Philip from Elon Strange and we're trying to get an interview set up so all three of us can do it together. And he said he sent me the album. But I'm not sure if he meant the digital or the actual physical copy. I'm kind of hoping the physical copy, but I wouldn't mind the digital, the, the digital as well. So we'll see what happens, and I'll uh, message him tomorrow because it's kind of late for him right now. But uh, we have uh, two more songs left for the night, and <clears throat> the second to last one is uh, a great musician, and he is a folk punk, and we interview him. He's such a cool guy. Uh, Lawrence Crow, who is Wolf Sunday. So this is off his new album, Making Memories, and this is dedicated uh, to to my girl who's sick right now. This is dedicated to Ashley. Here you go. Do this. <laughs> First love I had, well, she was a liar and she threw all I had into the depths of the fires of my heart. And we danced and she'd step on my toes and she'd scold me for mistakes with empty kisses and cold blows. Whoa. 